Hey guys, I'm just going to give you a quick update on the RF Trickster. I'm going to give you a short video. Basically, I woke up this morning after just going to bed. I just got through the campaign. Um, let's see, I have seven hours played. I'm level 68 here. This is what the passive tree looks like. I just had my Merc Lab done. So I'll give you a real quick look into what the character looks like while mapping for Righteous Fire. Uh, here's my gear. I basically spent uh, 3C on the shield. A Chaos or an Alk for the Shaper Seed, a Chaos for the Kikazaro, a Chaos for the Pyre, a Chaos for the Zaval Caress, and these are, are a Chaos for the Ambu's Charge, and these are a couple of random rares I picked up, and I paid a Chaos for this one, uh, for the Scepter. Uh, right now I'm barely over the sustain. If, I, if I'm killing things with Righteous Fire, um, then, then it's, um... I'm fine. I'm sustaining just fine at this point. If I'm going into a boss fight where I don't have Righteous Fire up, I have a Life Flask on and that barely nets me a regen. But we're going to be fixing the life regen on the character today, hopefully. Uh, right now you see I basically have the uh, Infernal Cry. That's kind of the explosions that keep going off. I'll go ahead and waste my Vel Righteous Fire. Really should just be using that on like bosses. I guess maybe I'll get it back before I get to the boss, but I'm not too sure I will. But, uh... It's going decently well for speed, decently well for, uh, damage, and hopefully, when I get some actual gear, it's really gonna, uh, start coming together. Boss down here. Boss isn't here yet. Oh, I'm not even generating my inspiration charges, what am I doing? <laughs> that was a close one. I didn't I didn't play that exactly right, but that's kind of gives you an idea of what the damage looks like on basically garbage trash can gear, uh, a low level passive tree. You'll see I, I'm degening now. If I put on a life flask, it's just a barely a net regen. If I kill somebody recently, I'll get the recovery rate from Trickster and I'll be fine and survive just fine. But for right now, this is what it looks like in the morning. I just woke up. Uh, I'm gonna actually cut together a video of me basically doing what I have at, for gear wise at, at the end of the day. Welcome to the Righteous Fire build in the future after a day of playing. We have since gotten 16 watchstones so far. We level up to 88. We got our Uber Lab for Weaver the Arcane. We've grabbed a couple more passives here and there. Still, it's kind of scuffed because we don't have our Cluster Jewel. We don't have our Timeless setup. We don't have our Femoral Garb. Our gear, we had some small upgrades. We got some Fire Dot Multi Gloves with really bad life. We got boots with kind of okay life and movement speed and lightning res, just kind of okay. Could have a regen enchant, stuff could be improved there. Our opal ring has decent res, but we really need to remove our 24 life and try to slam on a much better life modifier than 24 flat life. Uh, we still haven't upgraded Shaper Seed, so our amulet sucks. Um, our other ring pyre, not that great of a ring. It's good for some damage, but it gives us no life. And you can really see our life total is really suffering because of all these gear pieces where we have pretty bad life. Uh, so. Really just some upgrades need to be made to actually get us to more of a tanky range. Uh, our belt's decent. We were crafting this with the Harvest Craft. We hit some life, some good resistance, life recovery rate. And we're going to try to hit, maybe hit increased life as well with some Harvest Craft later on if we can get a life exalt. Uh, our helmet, we hit elemental damage plus conch effect by crafting with Essences of Horror. And uh, we're going to have a 50% chance at slamming on burning damage to this. So we'll get another like 24% more damage if we... Because if we get burning damage on the helmet, then we can link up efficacy as well to our Righteous Fire. So we'll get some damage there. And so right now, we're still kind of at some pretty weak gearing. But we're doing good. We're going through some, some red maps and we got a decent amount of damage. I'm going to showcase it now on a tier 13. This map's actually a complete death trap for us. They got crit. We got Fizz Extra's Fire and Minus Max. So if I don't die in this map, I'll be surprised. Um... So hopefully I can showcase it for you right here, see what it looks like. One thing I will say is since we have to be linked with Kong Effect, it does hurt our clear speed a little bit. We still can zoom around decently fast just because, well, we have pretty fast movement speed. We have fast attack speed and we kind of just zoom into packs, instantly kill them more or less the second we run in there and then just keep going. But uh, what the AoE would look like is if, if we weren't wearing Conk Effect, our AoE, if we had just AoE instead, like this, like our Val Righteous Fire is probably what the AoE would look like more. And it'd feel a lot more comfortable for clear speed. With Conk Effect, just running around the clear speed feels decent. It feels probably like a like a 
probably a more advanced cyclone because I'm moving a lot faster than cyclone and I have a similar radius to a decent AoE cyclone at this point. Still not ideal, but it works pretty well. I'm surprised I haven't died yet considering it's minus max, crit, and fizz is extra, but we'll make do with it, I guess. Uh, whenever you want to DPS a boss, we have a double court curse orb of storms going on. And that'll proc our EE, that'll proc our crit for elemental overload, and then it'll apply despair and flammability. So that's pretty useful as well. Um, I'll try to show you some boss damage here if we can get to the uh, boss real quick over here. I'm not going to waste my Bow Righteous Fire again for the boss so you can really get a, some appreciation of what the damage looks like when you do go to a boss. Because Bow Righteous Fire versus not Bow Righteous Fire is a big difference. And I forgot to have my Righteous Fire. I accidentally cancelled it. But that's kind of what it looks like on a T13 boss. And that's that's again with our gear being fairly kind of junk at this point. Um, so we're going to make a lot of upgrades. I'm looking forward to developing this uh, this Righteous Fire character and really kind of mid-maxing it well. Uh, but we've just been trying to push content hard. Haven't spent much time re-gearing. So hopefully we'll, tomorrow I'll push some more content and then spend a lot more time finessing the gear. I won't end up making probably a video until I finalize what the build actually will look like. And then I'll... Then I'll try to put out a more fleshed out guide on what passives to go for, how to craft the gear, and what gear to use, what links to use, all that sort of thing. And I'll actually make a more fleshed out guide on the character, but hopefully this kind of holds you over, gives you an idea of what to do for the Righteous Fire character if you want to make it or what you think, if you're curious of how it's turning out. And uh, if you're curious to try to start working on making it before I put out the fully fleshed out guide, you can feel free, stop by my stream and uh, ask me questions about it, and I'll try to give you, you know, point you in the right direction as best I can. But... This is just maybe hopefully give you guys a uh, something to hold you over on and maybe spike your interest in the Righteous Fire build when I actually fully flesh it out, get some real gear on it, and actually uh, take it to the end game. So you guys have a good night. I appreciate you stopping by to check out how the RF build's coming by, and I'll see you in the next video.